first up that's now, my name is Nick. I'm here at the Rock River Robotics Off-Season Competition in Rockford, Illinois, here with Team 3061 Husky Robotics. They performed incredibly well at both of their competitions, making it to the end of the lower bracket at the Central Missouri Regional. Today they're going to show us their incredibly unique tilting elevator. All this and more coming up on, coming up on Behind the Bumpers. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. At Kettering University, over 30% of the student population was in high school robotics. These same students have received a portion of over $7 million in first scholarship. Scholarship applications will open in September. Get ready to go pro and get more information at kettering.edu slash first. All right, coming up first is Andrea to talk about their unique elevator manipulator system. Andrea, take it away. Like the elevator held up by a pulley pretty early on, it was inspired by a, a robot in three days team. Attached over this pulley and then it goes and attaches to an eyeball on the actual elevator. And then it's just a drum that unspools and spools, it only goes one way. And we have, we don't, we're mostly relying on gravity to keep it down, but we did try constant, uh, we did try putting springs, torsion springs. Um, and then this elevator, it's just a, two-stage cascading, continuous, one of those, um, and it goes, we've got the carriage inside, it's pretty compact, and then this is the manipulator, which we have out on these angled plates just to get the right angles depending on where we are with both the shelf and scoring, um, and then the manipulator, it's got like this gearbox all protected up, and then these arms just go in and out, and we've got sensors to detect when it's closed and open and when something's blocking it. Yeah, so the whole pulley mechanism is held up on this A-frame, which is basically just a bunch of two-by-ones that go super high to give us more leverage. Um, we've got motors on the back for everything, and our main motors for the elevator are down here at the bottom, protected by a gear cover, and they go right over our battery, which is down back there. Um, we also have our intake, which we added on for our later competitions, and it's basically just two rollers, holds it up in here, goes in, goes out, nothing's super fancy. One thing I would like to ask, is it possible for us to switch on the robot and like show how this works? All right. Uh, and Andrea, one question I had, how did you all come to decide on a tilting elevator? It's very unique and I don't think I've seen anybody else doing it. Um, basically, we had a few different designs and what we did was we took them all and we kind of catted the sketch geometry. So just like general dimensions to see which ones would reach what we needed the best. And we decided this was both something we could achievably like do and would reach everything we needed it to reach. All right, great. Uh, next up we have Samika talking about their swerve drive. Yeah, so we have a 26 by 26 inch uh, swerve drive. So we're using four MK4i swerve modules that are using Falcons. Um, and one really unique thing about our drivetrain is our electrical board is completely underneath. So we have this electrical cavity within the two by ones where all of our electrical components are. And we have an aluminum uh, plate underneath that kind of secures everything in. And then over here we have kind of like a superstructure, which we like to call the H-frame, where you can see that our arm and our intake are both mounted on. So this is kind of like the base place for all of our features to be mounted. And um, inside we have our radio and our pigeon, and then we have our breaker over here and our RSL. So everything is really, really secure underneath and it's super nice. And then over here in the back we have our battery. So. We just attach it over here using kind of like a suction cup and we basically just take the suction cup, stick the battery in and we're able to secure everything. So yeah. All right. And uh, next up we have Ayush talking about all their unique code and automation systems. Yeah, for sure. So this year uh, was one of our best years when it came to software. We made a lot of improvements on what we had before. Uh, so I'll kind of just go through each thing and just talk about it. So first of all, April Tags being new this year, we decided to go with two Raspberry Pi cameras. Um, and what these allow us to do using photon vision, and what these allow us to do is we do a lot of uh, kind of move to pose type of things. So we can automatically move to a certain specific grid. And if you want to come over here, um, 
we use three-way switches to be able to determine which grid we want to go to, which column we want to go to, and then which row we want to go to. Um, other than that, um, a lot of our stuff we did this year was in simulation. So thank you to Mechanical Advantage, who actually made this amazing application um, that kind of allows us to like replay matches and see what went wrong in specific things. So if you want to come over here, um, so we can replay ma our matches using you know, data that we collect on our robot through the sensors that we have. And we're able to kind of see what was going on and what went wrong. And we're also able to see kind of what different sensors we're reading and what different positions we were at at certain times um, during the match, which is really, really helpful. Um, and so a lot of the features that we have also on our robot are available on our uh, library, 3061 lib, that a lot of teams are using. And that's a great source for new teams to start with. Um, but yeah, that's, that's mostly it. All right. Thank you all. Thank you all for watching. This has been Behind the Bumpers. It's Husky Robotics. Thank you all for your time, and good luck going forward in this competition. Thank you. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. At Kettering University, over 30% of the student population was in high school robotics. These same students have received a portion of over $7 million in first scholarship. Scholarship applications will open in September. Get ready to go pro and get more information at kettering.edu slash first. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now. And check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.